Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. My name is Bear. It's time for the Pirate's Cove DLC. It's the new content coming to the game on the 24th, I believe, of September. I've got myself some early access to it. So let's have fun. We've started a brand new game here because that's the way that you get into the new Pirate's Cove content. And it seems that in doing so, I've already unlocked several Dungeoneers and I also have the Fountain which gives us plus one health to each Dungeoneer that we bring out, and we get a new Shapeshifter as well. So that's cool. Let's have a look at our Dungeoneers real quick. We got ourselves the Cat Burglar, the Mine, the Bruiser, the Apprentice, the Ranger, and the Shapeshifter. And I think the Ranger is a level two one, right? Or am I wrong about that? It's been a while since I've played with these lower tier commoners. Yeah, I think Ranger is a level two class. Yeah, there it is. So we could unlock the ranger right now, apparently, and spend useless money. Or we could unlock some new items, because there's a, lot, a bunch of new items here in the DLC as well. We get the parrot, seafarer's brace, probably all of the nautical-themed ones are going to be the ones that you can attribute to the Pirate's Cove DLC. The eye patch, the ocean staff, I think the spiked shield was already there. You got your corset and your tricorn. And the Scroll of Souls. Did we ever see that? I don't know if we ever saw that. I'll build this one. That sounds like fun. And then maybe one more just to get a whole bunch of rare items out of the way. Flintlock and Spyglass. Sure. Sounds good to me. So let's go do it! I hear this jungle is dangerous and deep, and that its parts are long and contrived. Nobody knows what secrets it keeps. Because nobody has survived. <laughs> the orb of nosiness works! Certainly explains what the eye beast knew, why the eye beast knew everyone's business. Why, just this morning I've been watching folks down at the markets. I had a peek in at the courthouse. I even saw the high cleric and the widow Unger behind the chapel, and they weren't praying. Importantly, I also got a gander at the Ivory League's map room. Seems as if they're planning an expedition west to the Azka jungle. They're looking to recover a golden sun idol, a relic of some importance to them. This is a brilliant drawing, by the way. I've heard bad things about the jungle, but with the Dungeoneers, I'm starting to gather I can probably beat them to it. Time to start playing dirty. Just like a certain cleric and widow I know. He's getting nosy. Nosy with the nosiness. This is where the Pirate's Cove DLC starts off in the jungle. We are after the Sapphire of Tlaloc. Could either be a shapeshifter or a ranger. We got trickster's favor. All of these little blessings. In tow. I might take a hug in a bottle. Let's go with the ranger. Steal the sapphire and call it good. Now playing Destiny. Ooh. This is pleasant. A little change of pace in the music here. Look at this. The pirate map. What does that give me? Gives me a lot of gold. Apparently, it's a level 5 item. More treasure that fell from my traps. I gotta beat this plague rat in order to get that treasure map, so this is by far the most important battle of our lives. Right out of the gate here. Let's do it. He's doing fine. Gotta keep in mind, all physical attacks are quick. If I want to take this guy down, I'm just going to need one more point of damage. Come on now, there we go. No trouble at all. What is this? Give me this immediately. Hand axe? Or bandana? Ooh, that looks pretty good actually. Crush 2 could work, sure, we'll go for bandana. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give oh, okay, apparently that's just gold. I thought it would be something unique. Alright, fine by me. All we have to do is make it through this thing and then get to the treasure, right? I think that's correct. So all we gotta do is just mosey on over, take down a lizard man, and off we go. Might be able to use our hug in a bottle the most effective means possible by only fighting two battles. Works for me. Oh man, this is uh... This is bringing back old memories and feelings, this music. It's making me think about dark deeds long forgotten. Oh, that's a good camouflage right there. Very nice. 
Give me a two, two attack now. I can do this again. Seals the deal next turn. There it is. Three unblockable. Quick attack even. Look at that. Super effective. We already took a weapon, right? No, we didn't. So we could go for any of these. Doesn't really matter. We're getting a gem in five seconds. Totally doesn't matter at all. Let's just go get that thing. Massive gem! Hooray! We did it! I'm the greatest! Now showing off is quite a bore, and certainly not becoming. But what we have here, next in store, will surely have you running. And this is a neat little addition. Gives you a breakdown of why you earned the gold you did. Very good! Alright, so killing monsters is basically worth nothing. We get one gold per map room explored? God, I hope that's not consistent. That seems a little ridiculous. It's like the quest bonus gives you everything. Ah. Oh well. Woohoo! The Captain Rosalita. You wouldn't want to meet her. But there's treasure to be found. Adventures abound. And you might even meet the Grim Reaper. What is that? <laughs> we found a pathway through to the legendary Pirate's Cove. There's a whole series of caves and caverns running out beyond the jungles. Full of loot and booty. Looty? With there being talk of the great pirate ship the Eversail moored in the cove, we could really make this discovery worthwhile. It's absolutely buzzing with dangerous piratey types and teeming with nasty sea life. Not to mention the infamous Captain Rosalita and her crew. Hopefully it's nothing that can't be handled by a dungeoneer or two or twenty. They might even pick up a few new tips and tricks along the way to bring back to the guild. So it seems my path to further riches involves sailors and crabs. It'll like another job I once had. Prostitution? Prostitution, probably. There's a pirate around here. Ooh, boy. I'm pretty sure, then... That just means... Well, hold on a second. Is there anything else we can do here? There are a few more adventures we can undertake in this area. I think I want to go to the Skull Cavern, though. We're going to try this out. Get that parrot treasure. Did you hear something? Did you hear something? That's, that's different, man. Bolegda. You leave them parrots alone. Fight with the mermaids instead. They're much better equipped to deal with your heresy. I don't think I can build any corridors off of here. This is creepy music, though. Ew. I feel a little uncomfortable. Mundane. Well, all right, that doesn't really assist us that much. Especially because I just used a magic attack against a magic blocking card. So well done, me. At least we can block one damage there. Another headbutt, huh? That puts us in position to quick attack kill next turn. Bada bing, bada boom. Loving the ranger thus far. Brass knuckles are nice. Dead lizard charm sucks. A grenade! Wow! That gives us fire three. Immediately. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> Ooh, cabin boy. I have to defeat three cranky parrots, which means I have to get all the way around here. How do I do that? How on earth am I getting over there? Probably not right now. Let's fight a cabin boy. Did he just fart at me? I heard him fart at me. That's bad behavior for a cabin boy. Look, he's mundane too. Well, this is exciting. This is going to go quite well. I was hoping the fire would actually tick twice every turn too, but he's going to be dead. He's totally dead. What a stupid cabin boy. You're stupid. Alright, do we go firestorm just for the hell of it? Because I've got a character that does not benefit it from it whatsoever. But I can take firestorm. And when you can take firestorm, you take firestorm. That seems about right to me. We can't even connect this corridor here. Holy crap. This is weird. What's with these paths, man? This doesn't work at all. 
We'll fight a pirate. And then I really hope something works out for me with these corridors. Chase's Dungeoneer. First time starting around on one health gain, two health. That's interesting. And he's a crewmate too, isn't he? Steal enemy card. If he lands this. Okay, well... I have to use my Ignite. Oh! I see. That's totally different from what I thought it was. I thought he was attacking me. That's a weird card. Obviously, I'm not going to attack him if he has Yoink. Why would I ever do that? I'm just gonna not. <laughs> well, I guess if I only have cards that give me physical attacks, he's... He's got my number, but... I don't know why I just did that either. I'm pretty sure I can just kill him. Yeah, let's just Flame Lash. Because he's not on one health, and that rum thing only triggers when he's on one health, so we're fine. Ooh, Arcane too, but I would lose Firestorm, obviously. But, oh, Bulwark is here. I can take these and not lose Ignite, too, which is very helpful. Do I want Padded Vest, or do I want Doom Plate? Probably gonna be Doom Plate. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We're level 4 already, and we only have two items. So this is one way at least we can connect to this parrot. And then what? I guess we just go like that. Or this? Which way? Doesn't matter. Let's just do that. Okay. More corridors. Here we go. Make some connections this time. I'm gonna have to go in some really strangely roundabout way to get all the way over there. I wonder if I can just draw... ...parrots. ...in my hand. I hope so. Otherwise, I just need those really specific corridors all the time. Which would be so silly if I had to do that. It looks like I'm gonna have to do that. Alright. Don't eat cranky parrots for breakfast. That sounds disgusting. Physical attacks dealing 3 plus damage get 1 bonus damage. Yikes. Okay, he's gonna try to yoink. We're not gonna let that happen. It's a good start. Totally block his attack. Very nice. Stack up some physical damage now. Good. He's unblockable. Land the three. So far, so good. The Cranky Parrot is not... Not so fearsome anymore. We're doing just fine. Really? Stupidity? Come on now. The Ranger ain't even being challenged, man. Oh, look at that. Back to the Firestorm we go. <laughs> that was really fast. Oh, we could get Tenacity with the Wooden Shield, though. How about Tena Tenacious and Bulwark? Pretty much immortal. That's how I like my characters. Alright, this still is getting us basically nowhere, so I'm gonna throw a Mysterious Fountain down right there. That sucks. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're just walking around. I'm already level 4. I've got no, no items to gain. I'm just hoping for the right paths. And there's a start. Throw a couple massive gems down here, too. Sure, sure. Come on now, just give me one little path here. One little path. Just one little path. Just one. Tiny little pathway. That's all I want to see. God damn it. Alright. Another massive gem. Just throw them everywhere. Fuck it. Just gonna get filthy stinking rich off of this. We're just gonna farm this forever. There it is. Give me a good one. Good one! Oh, not again! Balls. Balls, balls, balls. The Fountain of Blindness going to Cranky Parrot fight number two. Oh well. He's not even gonna go in there? Oh my... Mmm... Those gems. Those gems backfiring on me. I still can't even do this. There's only one corridor that will work here. Which is admittedly kind of my fault, but still, it's sort of ridiculous that this is all connected the way it is. I can't even put corridors there in the hopes of going all the way around the map. What in the world? Oh my god, okay, well if I just like... Here, tell you what, let's try for another good mysterious fountain. And instead have to deal with three bad ones in the same room, right? Alright, if we stop ourselves here at least, we don't have to go all the way back toward that gem. And then maybe I can get some treasure to put inside this room. Please. Alright, he's tenacious. Use our ignite to start. It's fine by me. I am tenacious with Bulwark as well, so I have... 
very little concern for this battle. I should win. I'm still on pace to win. And this damage will do it. There it is. Very good. Very, very good. We've got an excellent build right now. Bone Helmet is meh. Uh, this gets rid of my tenacity, which... Seems like a bad idea, but I like having Firestorm, too. I'm gonna play this. I gain health to kind of make up for the lack of tenacity, even though it is a very good thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. This is really bad. Alright, we can't do that at all. Oh god damn it. Alright. Buccaneer. Doesn't even change it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I shouldn't have put that gem there. I didn't even think about it. Man. I guess it's fine. Oh, he's gonna chase me down, too. Okay. I'm going for the fountain for some reason. Why are you going for the fountain of blindness? We finally got the corridor I need to go down here, but now we just... are looking for the remain remaining connectors. Alright, well, tell you what. I'm gonna fight a pirate right there to prevent myself from... encountering blindness. And still just going on the luck of the draw for the future crewmate. Oh, we still got a knight. Should probably be doing that first. There we go. I like these new enemies. I like the music, too. The music is really really putting me in a mood. Why did I do that? That was dumb. <laughs> that was not, not the best idea. Here we go. Pretty sure I'm gonna be fine no matter what. He's gonna block that. We got Bulwark, and then we got a quick attack next turn. No problem. I think that rum should have activated there. I don't know why it didn't. Okay, nothing here is going to help me out at all. Although I don't have a headpiece yet, I guess. Could have an adorable little feather cap now. All right. Here we go, Buck. Let's do it. Play your game, friendo. I am not afraid. Still have a whole bunch of crummy, crummy ranger cards to deal with, though, unfortunately. When we don't get a good start, it does... unfortunately mean... nothing. <laughs> because we are still so damn strong. Here we go, unblockable firestorm. That ought to help. That ought to do the job! Do I want to change anything right now? Probably not. These are all level 3. I already have... Level 3 items across the board, although that is growth 4. We're going for more health again, at the cost of those... very worthwhile perks. It's an interesting debate whether or not it's worthwhile to go that route. We'll see, though. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make it through this. It's just a matter of a long, long time. Okay, this is good. Actually, this connects these, finally. Holy shit. Alright, well, good one and a bad one. I can accept that. We should go to fight the parrot now. Good! Thank you! Thank you for your correct prioritization, buddy. Growth 4. We have growth 4, we have fire 4 on a ranger. If only we could... You know what would be great? Just getting cards that... Oh, he stole my refresh, shit. Just getting cards that allow me to dispose of terrible base level cards. That'd be pretty neat. Cause then I could just fill my hand with growth 4 cards and growth 3 and fire 4 and fire 3. I'd be totally fine with that. I would just wanna... I would just take a deck of 5 or 6 cards. But I guess that would be a little overpowered, wouldn't it? That would be pretty tough to deal with. For the enemies. Because I feel bad for them, you know? Fury is... Yeah, you know what? Actually, Fury is pretty damn good. But I'm not losing anything I've got now, so let's just go ahead and sell this, I guess. Oh, wait, no. Is this gonna be... What does that do? I already have a wolf pelt. So yeah, I just take it to sell it, right? There we go. Guess they changed that a little. Alright, we're just doubling back. Nice and easy. Just skirt on through. Keep on trucking. Here, I'll make my own bard song for the Dungeoneer as he moses his way back over to the parrot. Da 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 da. 
I'm a ranger and I have a bomb. Don't call me Toll, my name is Tom. They mistook a typo for the letter L. This last line doesn't rhyme. Good. Well done. Well done, Tom. Very impressive song. We'll take you on for the DLC as well. You seem like you're a capable artist. Alright, we got two fountains. Fountain of Heroism. Gain one health per damage block next fight, which is probably one of the best fountains available. So I can't be too peeved about that. Alright, last one. Finally, the Cranky Parrot is ours for the taking. Let's do it, man. I'm ready. This ransack is getting through. I'm gonna block damage and gain health, though, but he is gonna steal my Flame Lash. The pirate stealing your cards mechanic is really awesome, actually. I like that quite a bit. It's really, really cool. Alright, Ignite should just about do it. Just about doing it. We'll play a refresh for fun. Because I lose health doing that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the most humiliating way for a parrot to die. I'm not sure if you understand. This used to be a peaceful land. Since your guild come along, everything has gone wrong. And I dread to know now what you've planned. Well, that's our welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering, everybody. Hope you're looking forward to the Pirate's Cove. I'll have more episodes of that all through the week. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it as well. Appreciate that. I'll see you next time.